So in our study of the binomial theorem, we have example 5b. We're looking at finding the constant term in some expansions, binomial expansions. We're not writing in the whole expression. We're just zooming in on a particular term. In this case, the constant term. And the constant term, the x or the variable term, has a power 0. So we're always trying to equate our power to 0 in the end. So let's have a look at this example here. We've got a half a minus 1 over 3a all to the power 4. So we can write down the general term rule that tr plus 1 is equal to n choose r times x to the power n minus r times y to the power r. That's our general rule in terms of n and r. In our case here, n is 4. So we can say that 4 choose r. Our first term x is a half a. Right, half a to the power 4 minus r. And our second term, remember the negative, negative 1 over 3a. So a wee bit of Bit of complex day here to work through. Okay, so we've got our two terms, I've put, kept them in brackets, and as we did before, we want to separate the number term from the variable term in each of those brackets. So I'm going to split them up. I've got four choose r. I'm going to write down the half on its own to the power of four minus r, and the a term on its own to the power of four minus r. Now the second one's a wee bit trickier. Um, because a negative 1 over 3a is the same as negative a third multiplied by a to the power negative 1. Okay, these are the same. So we can actually bring the third away. It's not negative a third a, because the a is also on the bottom of that fraction. So we have to think of the two things separately. We've got negative a third and then we'll get a to the power negative 1. So that's going to allow me to move that out of the way. I can write my coefficient as negative a third to the power r, and I'm going to just write down a to the power negative 1 to the power r. So that's the trickiest part, really, is just to make sure that we correctly separate the number terms, the, the coefficient from the actual variable itself. Uh, normal procedure then would be to bring all the number terms together, and that gives us our coefficient. So that's all of the numerical terms. And that leaves me with uh, my two a terms. I've got a to the power of 4 minus r, and I'm going to multiply out this bracket here, a to the power of negative 1 raised to the power of r, multiply those two terms together and I get a to the power negative r. One last thing to get the general term. I can't do anything with any of these, but I can combine my two a terms here. By, we're multiplying the a terms so we add together the indices. So we get a to the power of 4 minus 2r. Okay, so there's a lot of working through, a lot of thinking to be done in all of that. That's effectively the r plus 1 term of this expansion in its simplified form. What are we looking for? We're looking for the constant term. And the constant term happens when the power of a is 0. So in other words, we want to equate our... Uh, power here, 4 minus 2r, 2, 0. So we can write down uh, for the constant term. What do we know to be true? 4 minus 2r is going to equal 0. Um, I can say that therefore 2r is going to be 4 and r is 2. Whatever way uh, you can Solve that little equation, we should find out that r is going to be 2. That allows us to then find the term itself. If r is 2, then 
technically we're finding the third term in our expansion and we can get that by saying 4 choose 2 multiplied by a half times 4 minus 2 is 2 multiplied by a third times 2 and if I just want to make sure the a, the a term here 4 minus 2 lots of 2 is 0 yeah and we know that that then simplifies to 1 and that's why I just have a constant term and all I have to do now is evaluate these three terms here. Uh, 4 choose 2 is 6. A half squared is a quarter. And negative a third squared is positive 1 ninth. Um, which gives me uh, 4 times 9 is 36. So it's 6 divided by... 36, which simplifies nicely to 1 sixth. And we were asked for the constant term, uh, so we can just say that the constant term is equal to 1 sixth. There is our solution.